Aloha, and welcome to How to Work a Conference to Make It Work for You. I'm Katherine Fulford from the University of Hawaii, and I'm here with Adam Tanari Jr., who is my design assistant. This is a five-part series, and today we're covering Part 3, Guidelines to Visuals 101. We're covering layout, focus, and dynamics. A good, well-planned presentation is never out of style. Plan to spend a lot of time preparing your slideshow. Creating good presentations is an art and takes a lot of time and effort, so be sure to start early. Layout. Many people try to take their paper and put it straight into their presentations, and this doesn't work very well because presentations are a horizontal format, whereas papers are a vertical format. So instead, cut and paste your graphics, crop them, and blow them up so they fill up the screen. It's also important to have a separate or single concept on each slide. That way, the audience isn't distracted when you're still on the first topic. You also want to have minimum verbiage. Having too many words is distracting. So don't take large paragraphs from your paper and put them straight into your presentation. Instead, you want to create bullet points and really focus on the key concepts. Guidelines for projected visuals. A picture is worth a thousand words. Using visuals more effectively through the use of pictures of people or things, not just pictures of words. Here's a depiction of a presentation. This is quite nice, but even nicer is a photograph. Photographs are a little bit more up to date. Focus. You want to make sure your graphics focus on your center of interest. In this slide, these arrows focus outside of the presentation, so it doesn't focus on your focal point. By sliding them over and moving your words, now they do. You can also use an outstanding feature to direct your eye, like an arrow. Dynamics. Layout is one way to think about the dynamics of your presentation. In a formal layout, you have a precise, predetermined order that's concise and a little bit mechanical. This is okay, but a more dynamic way to think is an informal layout. It's seemingly random, less precise, but you've balanced it with your eye, and it's a lot more interesting and dynamic. Unity is a concept most people haven't heard of. It means all the parts of a visual are tied together through overlapping, spacing, lines, color, texture, shape, or focus. In this slide, you see we have three objects. The word box on the left, the cupcake, and the title on the right. Right now, it's like you have three pictures. So if we squeeze those together, we have more unity. But even more, if we add a green background, we tie them together in a way that makes them into a single picture. Use contrast to illustrate differences. But be careful to avoid red and green because people that are colorblind see these as the same color. So, for example, here are two different circles, one in yellow and one in blue, and it's easy to see the contrast between the two. To create rhythm, which is the repetition of elements to give uniformity to display, and so every single slide in the slideshow has these, and it tends to make a rhythm and tie all of it together. If you notice in this slideshow, we've used this idea by having a logo and bands at the top and bottom that create a rhythm throughout the entire slideshow. 
You can easily do this yourself by choosing a particular template or adding a logo yourself. Color has been shown through research to be very motivating. So you can use color to enhance your presentation, but avoid overuse of color. So don't use more than five colors on any one slide. You might break this rule if you have a graph or a chart that needs it. If you know you're going to be in a large room like a ballroom, the best projecting colors are white or yellow on a blue background. But please, if you have a dark background, avoid dark colors. You need to make sure you have enough contrast for people to see. So never, for example, put red or black on a blue background. And you won't know this until you try it out in the room that you're going to present in. Next time, we'll be covering Guidelines to Visuals 102, which will cover animations, aesthetics, and legibility and readability. Aloha and mahalo 